Okay, so for row three, we are going to start the row as we always will of chaining two and then turning our work. And sorry, if I am um, if I kind of pause a bit, it's probably because I'm trying to find my place on the pattern. So what we're going to do is now this is important to check your stitches because um when I first had a go at this, I got myself very confused. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to explain it to you um well enough that we'll and clearly enough for what we need to do. So we've got our chain two. And then down here we've got our double crochet and our front post. So in this row we're going to do back post stitches and they will be much, much easier because we've got a longer stitch to work around. And you're probably probably more familiar with doing back posts and front post stitches around double crochets. So what we're going to do is skip this first stitch, skip the second stitch, and then in this next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. So skip the first and the second, and then we're going to do a back post. So what we want to do is go between the second and third stitches from behind with your yarn over, from behind, go over the post of that stitch and back through. And that pushes that post to the back, making it a back post. And then just complete your stitch. Oops, not like that. Complete your stitch as normal, okay? And then we're going to do a double crochet into the top of the stitch we've just worked around. So it's a bit distorted, but remember you want the third one. So one, two, three. So it's this one here, and you want to go into the top there and do a double crochet, okay? And then a double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch and then into the stitch we've just worked into we're then also going to do a back post stitch so yarn over come behind and through over and back through back through the other side and then complete your stitch Okay, and then we're going to do a back post on around the next stitch. And then we're going to skip a stitch and do three double crochets. So skip a stitch and then three double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to do a back post around the next double crochet, back post double crochet, and a back post double crochet around the next stitch. And then just as we did over this side, we're going to do a double crochet into the top of that same stitch. So. Just look down where it's coming from and find the top of that stitch just here. And go into there for a double crochet. And then do a double crochet into the next stitch. And a double crochet into the next stitch. And in that stitch we've just worked in, we're going to do a double crochet, a back post double crochet. So come behind and through, over that post and back. And then a back post double crochet around the next stitch. See how much easier it is to do these, these post stitches when you've got double crochets to work in? Much easier. Okay, then skip a stitch and then do three double crochets along, one in each of the next three. Now I know this row is repeating from the beginning here, but because it's a bit tricky, I'm finding it easier to just do the whole row with you and then um, 
and we'll have it as a two-part video um, much easier um, for me <laughs> than working out where to tell you to repeat so um, then we're going to skip a stitch and then do a back post around the next stitch and a back post around the next stitch <clears throat> excuse me and then do a double crochet in the top of that same stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch and a back post in that same stitch we'll round that same stitch rather okay and then if you look you have two stitches left we have our chain and we have our double crochet what we're going to do is do our double crochet into the chain to so the top chain of the two because we're skipping this stitch here just as we did at this end here so go into the top chain of the two and do a double crochet and that is row two it might not look like much at the moment but believe me it will work up into a beautiful chevron square okay so Time for row four. Okay, so for row four, and yes, I have turned my dice to row four. It is now on row four. <laughs> okay, so chain two and turn your work around. And then as before, we're going to skip these first two. So the one that the chain comes from, and the next one we're going to skip those two and then we're going to do a double crochet into the next one just a plain old regular double crochet and then we're going to do another so that's two and a third and then a fourth now let me remind myself, is this a front or a back post? I'm looking at the chart. It is a front post, so we're doing front post again. So into the same stitch that we just did this last double crochet, so we've got four double crochets. We're going to go this same one and do a front post. So make sure you're looking at the right one. So we've got a raised stitch here you want the one next to it, okay? So we're going to do a front post, so that means we go um, from the front, oh my gosh, um, and just round like so, so in and behind. Bit of a mental block there, gosh. Okay, and then we're going to do a front post, double crochet around the next stitch. So they are um, coming around each other so you can see these front posts you've got two front posts here and now two front posts coming up directly from those and that's how this pattern pretty much works so then you are going to skip the next stitch and do a double crochet into the next and then we're going to skip the next stitch so if you look down here we had five double crochets and then we had three, so we skipped each side. And now we're skipping and we've got one, so five, three, and then one. So it's making a kind of, making our triangle. Okay, so skip the next one. And then we're going to do a front post around the next. And a front post around the next. Nice, easy row, this one. Oops. Not if we do that, it's not. Okay. And then into that same stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. So this time, <clears throat> your um, stitch will be slightly behind, okay? Last time it was slightly in front because it was a back post, but this time it will be slightly behind. So just look behind there and go into that stitch and do a double crochet. Just a regular double crochet. 
and then you want to do a double crochet in the next that's one and in the next one that's two and the next oops is three and the next is four and then in that same stitch you're going to do a front post around the front post that's there below. And a front post around the next stitch. Okay, and then we're back to this one here, doing our triangle. So skip a stitch and then do a double crochet in the next. And then skip the next stitch. And then a front post around the next. And a front post around the next. And a double crochet in that same stitch. So just behind, going to there. And then we're going to do three double crochets along. One, two, and three. And then as before, You've got two stitches left by your chain and a stitch. And as before, we're going to go into the top of the chain two. Skip this stitch and go into the top of the chain two. And there we go. So now you can see these chevrons working up a bit more. You can see how these, um, these lines are forming. It's starting to work up quite nicely. So the back's fairly plain. It's starting to work up really nicely. So I'm um, just going to give that a stretch out and we're going to move on to row five. Okay, row five, as always, chain two and turn your work around. And then we're going to skip these first two stitches. And for the next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. So come in from behind and push that post to the back. And then in that same stitch, this is where your stitch will be at the front, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, and then we're going to skip the next stitch and then do a double crochet in the next. The next stitch we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to do a back post around that same stitch. And then we're going to do a back post around the next stitch. Aha, I've just realised this is the next one. We're going to do a back post double crochet but we're going to do it between this stitch here we're going to skip this stitch in the middle and then we're going to do it with this next stitch here. So we're going to make a point. So we're doing a back post two together. A back post double crochet two together. That's quite a mouthful but that's what we're doing. So we've done double crochet two together lots in the past. The only difference with this is that we're doing it as a back post and we're not doing it into two stitches directly next to each other okay so make sure you're aware of which stitches we're working in so we're going to skip this stitch in the middle so we've got this stitch here and this one here and we're going to skip the one in the middle so yarn over go behind and through to start your back post yarn over and pull through two and then stop yarn over, skip the next stitch, go behind and do your back post for the second stitch along, pull through, pull through two and then when you have those three loops pull through all three. Okay, that's all there is to that stitch. Not really that complicated, it just can sound or look complicated. Okay, so the next stitch we're going to do a back post And we're going to do a double crochet into the top 
of that same stitch. So we're going to do a double crochet into this, into the, a double crochet into the top of that same stitch. Um, and then a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to skip a stitch. And then the next one, we're going to do a back post. And in the top of that stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. The same as we did over here. So two double crochet in the top of that same stitch. And then we're going to skip a stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next one, we're going to do a double crochet and then a back post around the same stitch. And then this next one is where we're going to do that back post, double crochet, two together, just as we did before. So you can see we've got one here, skip the one in the middle, and then we're gonna go into this one on this side. So we're gonna start that back post double and then we're going to do the first pull through and then we're going to go to the second and do that first pull through two and then we have three loops and pull through all three and there we go and then we are going to do a back post double crochet around the next stitch and a double crochet in the top of that same stitch double crochet in the next stitch skip one and then in the next stitch you're going to do a back post and then two double crochets in the top of that same stitch might be a bit tricky to find as you've probably discovered already so two double crochet in that same stitch and then as always skip the next stitch and do your last double crochet in the top of your chain two and that is the end of row five so the back again doesn't look anything spectacular but turn it over and here you can see that two together has made, virtually made our point, okay? That's what that stitch was doing, making our point rather good, don't you think? I think so. Okay, so we're on to our last row of our repeats, which is row six. Row six. And it's a good job there's no more than six because my dice doesn't go up any higher. <laughs> okay, row six. Okay, row six, we're going to start in exactly the same way by chaining two and turning our work. <clears throat> and then we're going to do a back post around the very next stitch, sorry, a front post around the next stitch. And then the next stitch, we're going to do a front post and two double crochets in that same stitch. So just look slightly behind and your stitch will be there to work into. So two double crochet, and then a front post around the very next stitch. Now it will be quite close to this one, so don't skip it there. Make sure you see that stitch there going to that. Do your front post. And then you're going to skip the next stitch and then a double crochet in the next. And then the next stitch, which is the first one of your two um, front posts here. So the next stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. And then on the next one, you're going to do, um, sorry, the same stitch, sorry. So we've just done a double crochet in this outside 
raised stitch okay now the next one here is our as our um two together which is this stitch here we're skipping that and from this stitch we've just worked into and this one over here so the second one here remember we're skipping this one here so the next stitch along we're going to work a two together stitch but this time it will be a front post two together so what we're going to do is go into or sorry around with a front post the stitch that we've just worked into so this you've got these two front posts here you want to work around this first one okay the first one and do your first part of your double crochet leave the last two loops on yarn over skip these two and this one at the top here and then go into your next one so the second front post on the left go around there and do the first part of your double crochet and then yarn over and pull through all three loops and that just gives the very finish to your point remember i said on the last row this has started making our point this one has finished making our point because this is called um double chevron so we have one and then we have two now okay so then we're going to do a double crochet in the top of the same stitch we've just worked around on this side remember over here we did a double and then a front post here we're doing the front post and then a double so into that same stitch okay and then a double crochet in the next stitch don't worry we're going to do that all again in a moment so we're going to skip a stitch and then the next one we're going to do a front post double crochet the next one we're going to do a front post double crochet and in the same stitch we're going to do two double crochets so look at the back find that stitch and do your two double crochets And then the next stitch, do a front post. Okay, and then skip a stitch. And the next stitch, do a double crochet. And the next stitch, do a double crochet. And this is where we're going to do that front post double crochet two together we're going to do this stitch again over here so the same stitch we've just worked into we're going to then go around that post and do the first part of our double crochet leaving the last two loops on yarn over skip the next two front posts and go into the third front post along and do the first part of your double crochet and then pull through all three loops and do a double crochet in that very same stitch that you've just done that last front post so look behind and find that stitch mine's gone a bit small so I'm gonna have to just work it into there use my hook sometimes these stitches do go a bit small don't they there we go okay and then um, where are we okay and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch skip a stitch front post around the next front post around the next two double crochet in that same stitch just work into that stitch behind do two double crochet front post around the next stitch and then a double crochet in the top of your chain two and if you have worked along with me and done all of these six rows you can give yourself a pat on the back 
because it's not the easiest to follow. And some different stitches to what you might be used to. There you go. There is the pattern for your double chevron. How cool is that? Well done for getting this far if you have done. So now it's a case of um, doing some repeats, which I will explain to you in just a second. You might want to have a slurp of tea or coffee at this point and um, just give yourself a stretch and have a, a moment break, which is what I'm going to do. But for you, it will only be a second because I'll be back in a second. OK, so now we've done the six rows. This is where you're going to repeat. Um, you're going to repeat rows three to six, and then you're going to repeat row three to five. And then we have a row to finish off. Okay, so um, I'll pop that information, um, hopefully it'll be on the screen, um, or it'll be below in that description. Um, you know, it depends if I have a problem <laughs> with the editing. So you're going to repeat rows three to six, and then three to five. Um, and um, so just rewind the video and um, then I will see you back to do what will then be row 14. So once you've done those rows, I will see you to do the last row. Have fun and um, I'll see you in a moment, but um, actually in a little while for you. Okay, have fun. And here we go at the end of 13 rows. How good does this look? Very clever. Um, these kind of cable stitches going on. Love it, love it. So, um, whoever said that crochet can't be as good as knitting? Haha, <laughs> they're wrong. So, looks great. So, we're just going to finish off in the same way we started with a single crochet row. So, just going to chain one. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in that very same stitch. And one single crochet in every stitch along. And that is as simple as this row is. So um, just work those single crochets just to finish your square. Um, if your square isn't quite up to the size that your squares usually are, and you'd like it a bit bigger. Um, bear in mind this square will stretch out a little bit. Um, if I just stop there, it will stretch out a little bit um, both ways. And um, with this sort of roughly edge here, if you do a border, it will help to straighten that. Um, but also um, blocking um, will help to straighten that as well. So if you want to do a border, um, just measure your square, see um, how big it is already. And um, from there, you can decide whether you need a single crochet, half double crochet, or double crochet border um, to bring it up to your size. And um, I have done borders before where my maybe my sides are single crochet and my top and bottom are half double crochet because it's not... Um, Sort of square shape so just to help square that off um, I've done that before so that's an option as well if you need it so all you need to do um, for your border is um, three stitches in your corner and then work 25 stitches evenly down your side 25 um, because then you've got 25 along the bottom and top and then 25 down the sides so this is looking pretty square for me. Um, I'm not sure of the size but um, I'll pop a border on later if I need to um, or when I'm attaching it to other squares. Um, so that's our square for today. I'm just going to um, fasten this off and sew in the ends and um, bid you farewell. Um, I hope you've enjoyed crocheting along with me today and that you found this useful and helpful um, taking it stitch by stitch, row by row. And um, if you have, then please click that like button, give us a thumbs up and show some love and appreciation. Um, it really does mean a lot to us. 
and um, I can't wait to see photos of your squares in our group. Um, the link to that is below and um, until next time, just keep hooking and don't let your tea get cold. <laughs>